water flowed in my face, the glass. So I went to the side to get away from that. And my son was here in the hallway and he was hollering for me. So I turned around and came back through it. The wind was blowing so hard I nearly fell. And got here in the hallway and we got down over our dogs and we were both praying. I mean, praying. And that's the only part that didn't fall down. So, the good Lord heard our prayers. He kept us alive. And I can salvage a little bit. But I lost everything in 07. My house burnt completely to the ground. We rebuilt. Then my husband died in 09. And I had to file bankruptcy and lost everything again. And now I've lost it all again. This will be, I believe, the deadliest tornado system to ever run through Kentucky. Now, earlier this morning at about 5 a.m., we were uh, pretty sure that we would have we would lose over 50 Kentuckians. I'm now certain that that number is north of 70. It may, in fact, end up exceeding 100 um, before the day is done. I talked to him about 8 o'clock tonight, a little before. I texted him, and he was returning to the warehouse to drop his van off, and I haven't heard from him since. I just heard through the news, and we live in Edwardsville. We lost power, so I decided to come down here to see what was going on. I had no idea the building looked that bad, and I'm just, I'm worried sick. I just want to know if he's okay, you know. I don't... What happens when you call a cell phone? Uh, it just goes straight to voicemail. I mean, there's, we can't get a hold of anybody, no managers, nothing. I, I, we have no idea what's going on.